Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today, including several M-Class flares over the last week, which produced a couple CMEs, and modeling suggests a combination of their releases could impact Earth tonight. We've got studies on ocean currents and a volcano 6,000 years ago, but we are starting with our star and find the last 24 hours was modestly active. We have continued to take M-Class solar flare activity, and there remain several sunspot active regions turning through which deserve our attention. No, get it. The flaring of the last week is not expected to cease as the sunspots of cycle maximum keep coming. At least all the plasma filaments on the disk at the moment are small. As I mentioned, there were several smaller M-class events the last couple days, and while none of them is scary in any way, their combined plasma is expected to interact with Earth's magnetic field this evening. The NOAA Enlil spiral shows their tracks here, high likelihood of impact within the next 24 hours. Up next is some significant eye candy with a good story to go with it. They are suggesting that the extreme slowdown in ocean currents, especially the Gulf Stream, is partly due to natural forcing from extreme winters in the north. Surely they may play a role, but alas, the more important story is the continued decline of those ocean currents in the ongoing shutdown, which also includes the AMOC. New simulation based on the most updated data shows we are at the tipping point for collapse, which as we've shown many times before is the trigger for another Dansgaard Oshker event in the beginning of the major climate transition. Last but not least, they found evidence that a major volcanic event began in New Zealand 6,000 years ago, exactly during the last half cycle event, which observers know as either the NOAA event or the China event. What's interesting is that they are guessing the volcano lasted a thousand years because they can't explain how the magnetic directions in the cooled lava flows could have possibly changed so much if it wasn't a slow, long-lasting event. Veteran observers, why don't you come back down there in the comment section and you make your own guess at an explanation other than the long-lasting state of the eruption to explain that evidence. I'll hopefully be back this afternoon to give you the correct answer, and we greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.